Have you ever found yourself pondering whether borderline personality disorder is treatable but narcissism is not? This is a question that surfaces often, and it's high time we debunk the myth that narcissistic personality disorder, or NPD, is untreatable. You see, borderline personality disorder, or BPD, and NPD are both complex psychological conditions. They're often misunderstood, leading to sweeping statements like, BPD is treatable, NPD is not. But that's oversimplifying the matter. The reality is, both disorders have their unique challenges when it comes to treatment. BPD generally has more established treatment options, while NPD's treatment may be more challenging due to factors like lack of insight and grandiosity. However, this does not mean that NPD is untreatable. It's crucial that we understand these nuances to support individuals with both BPD and NPD in finding appropriate treatment and improving their quality of life. So, let's delve into the facts, shall we? Let's start with borderline personality disorder, a condition often characterized by emotional instability, impulsive behavior, and intense but unstable relationships. These symptoms can be incredibly distressing, not just for the individual experiencing them, but also for those around them. But here's the good news. BPD is indeed treatable. The first-line treatment for BPD is a type of psychotherapy called Dialectical Behavior Therapy, or DBT. DBT is all about teaching individuals to regulate their emotions, tolerate distress, improve interpersonal effectiveness, and practice mindfulness. It's about giving them the tools to manage their symptoms and navigate the world with greater ease. But DBT is not the only therapy out there. Schema therapy, for example, helps individuals identify and change maladaptive patterns of thinking and behavior. Mentalization-based therapy, on the other hand, focuses on helping individuals understand their own and others' mental states, fostering a greater sense of empathy and understanding. Medication can also play a role in managing BPD. While it's not a cure, it can help manage specific symptoms. Antidepressants can help with feelings of depression, mood stabilizers can reduce emotional instability, and antipsychotics can help manage symptoms like impulsivity. It's important to note that treatment plans are highly individualized. What works for one person might not work for another, and it often involves a combination of therapies and medications. It's about finding the right balance and the right strategy for each individual. So, BPD is indeed treatable, and there are several proven strategies to manage it. But what about narcissistic personality disorder? Is it a lost cause? Or are there ways to manage it too? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this complex and often misunderstood condition. Narcissistic personality disorder, often associated with excessive self-importance, a lack of empathy, and a constant need for admiration, is a bit more complex. This condition is characterized by an inflated sense of superiority, a deep need for excessive attention, and an inability to understand or identify with the feelings of others. But can it be treated? Psychotherapy is one of the most common treatment options for NPD. Transference-focused psychotherapy, for example, can help individuals to understand their emotions and behaviors, as well as their relationships with others. Schema therapy, on the other hand, works to identify and change negative patterns of thinking and behavior. However, it's important to remember that there is no magic pill for NPD. Medication can't cure narcissism, but it can help manage co-occurring conditions that often accompany NPD, like depression, anxiety, or aggression. While these treatment options exist, there are significant challenges when it comes to treating NPD. Firstly, individuals with NPD often lack insight into their own behavior. This lack of self-awareness can make it difficult for them to see the need for change, and they may resist therapy or undermine its effectiveness. Secondly, the grandiosity and entitlement that come with NPD can make accepting feedback or taking responsibility for actions particularly difficult. This inflated sense of self-importance often acts as a barrier to treatment. Lastly, compared to borderline personality disorder, there is a relative scarcity of research and specialized treatment approaches for NPD. This makes finding effective interventions and qualified therapists a bit more challenging. Despite these hurdles, it's important to remember that treatment for NPD is not impossible. It may be a tough road, but with the right support, individuals with NPD can learn to manage their symptoms, 
improve their relationships, and lead more fulfilling lives. So, it's clear that treating NPD is challenging, but it's not impossible. Let's summarize. Let's sum up what we've learned so far about treating BPD and NPD. In terms of borderline personality disorder, we've seen that the first line of treatment is often dialectical behavior therapy. This approach focuses on key areas like emotional regulation, distress tolerance, interpersonal effectiveness, and mindfulness. Other therapeutic methods, such as schema therapy and mentalization-based therapy, can also be beneficial. While medications aren't a cure-all, they can certainly help manage specific symptoms like depression, anxiety, or impulsivity. When it comes to narcissistic personality disorder, the treatment landscape is a bit more complex. There's no cure for NPD, but therapy can still offer significant benefits. Through methods like transference-focused psychotherapy and schema therapy, individuals can develop greater self-awareness, work on improving their relationships, and manage their symptoms. Just like with BPD, medications can be helpful in managing co-occurring conditions. However, we must acknowledge the unique challenges associated with treating NPD. These include the individual's lack of insight into their own behavior, their inflated sense of self-importance, and the limited research and specialized treatment options available. These hurdles can make NPD more resistant to treatment compared to BPD. But here's the key takeaway. Both borderline and narcissistic personality disorders can benefit from treatment. The specific approaches and their effectiveness may differ, but that doesn't mean treatment isn't worthwhile. Despite the challenges, it's important to support individuals with both BPD and NPD in finding appropriate treatment. BPD generally has more established and evidence-based treatment options, which can make it easier to find qualified therapists and effective interventions. On the other hand, while treating NPD may be more challenging, it's not impossible, and the benefits can be substantial. So, as we conclude this discussion, it's important to remember that personality disorders are complex conditions, and treatment success depends on various factors beyond the diagnosis itself. The focus should always be on improving the individual's quality of life, fostering understanding, and promoting mental health. Remember, personality disorders are complex conditions, and treatment success depends on various factors beyond the diagnosis itself.